Okay, this is a HP 8300 Elite Small Form Factor Computer. And today I'm going to show you how to take out the hard drive and the optical drive for this computer. The first thing you have to do is open up, open the side panel and you just do that by doing that. Just pulling up on the lever and then sliding it out. Not sliding it out but moving it up like that and then getting it out like that. The next thing is we are going to get the DVD out or the DVD drive out. So you press this button, you see that? Pushing it in and then you push it in and you just move it up. I don't know if that's going to work without pushing it in. No. It looks like it works without pushing it in. You could just pull it out. Okay, yeah, let me see. You push it in and then you push it in and you push this in and you push this in the drive to slide it out. That's what you do. So this locks it into place, push it in, slide it out. Just like that. And then to get the drive out, you slide it out and then you pull it out just like this. That's how you get the optical drive out. There are cables in the back. To get it completely out, we have to remove this. Just pull it out like I pulled it out. And pull out the next one. That's a SATA connector. It's a little bit hard to get out, it's on there very tight. Just wiggle it out. Okay, now it's free, and the DVD drive is out, and to get the hard drive out, we just push up on this, and that frees it, and let's remove the cables first, there's a, I'll just show you how to get it out, you press this, and then you push out like that, and then that enables you to free the hard drive. Like that and take out the SATA cables which are in the back. Just like that. And these little tabs enable you to insert it into these grooves right here. You see that groove? That groove, there's one on each side. So it goes in there, that's how it gets in there. I don't know if you can see that, the grooves. This, this aligns with this and this. Just get it in there like that. Make sure it's in the right direction when you put it back in. This part is a back and it's facing this way. The back is facing that way, front is this way. There's nothing in the front. And just make sure you plug everything in first before you do that. So for the SATA power cable, let's 
So let me show you. There's two sets. The first set is here, which I'm holding. The second set is here, which I'm holding with my right hand. So what I'm holding with my right hand goes into the hard drive. And the one here on my left hand goes into the optical drive. So I'm gonna plug the SATA connector first. Goes in only one way, and I'm gonna connect the power connector. Let me get a better camera angle. the connector in this way okay that's in and then we align it to the slots push it in and then push it down and then push it in to lock it into place and now the hard drive is in there now I'm gonna do the other side uh, DVD back in. Let's say if you wanted to change the DVD drive to a Blu-ray or something, then let's say I'm putting it back in. So here is the SATA connector right there, and this is the power connector right here, and I have to put it in basically. Get a power connector in and the SATA connector. It's also it goes in only one way. And then to get it in, you zoom in a little bit. You see that the screw stubs, they have to go into there, into these cuts right there and right there and then you just get it in and push it down and then you push it push it in this way that's how you get it in now it's locked into place I have to push it in all the way until it locks until you hear that clicking sound and to get it out again you push in and then push that in this way to get it out and to get it in again just to show you push it all the way in this way and you hear that click sound and now it's in and there's another thing there's a um, CPU uh, some kind of duct to get it out you just uh, pull it up there's no tools that you need to get it out and if you need to replace the fan for any reason, um, you can, you have access to it. You can have access to get it out. But you have to open the front panel first to get to the fan. So see these green tabs? There's three of them, one, two, and three on the bottom. So you just open the tabs like that and then this enables you to free the front plate there's one uh, screw that is holding this fan in place which is right there where my finger is and uh, you can put a screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver right through here and then unscrew it and that would free the that would free the fan and then you could replace it you have to buy a HP um, 
specific fan for this chassis because it doesn't use a standard three pin um, fan like most uh, clone computers use. See it has four pins and then you just release the you just release that, you just pull it out and then unscrew it and release to get the fan out. That's how that's what you do. Now I'm gonna put the cover back on and everything back in and uh, I think that's it. To get it in there's a hinge See, there's a tab one, two, and three. You just get it into these holes, one, two, three. And you just get it in like that at an angle and tilt it and push it right in. And that's how you get it in. And I'm gonna get the CPU uh, duct back in. And once in a while, you have to open this up and um, dust it out and I have a video on how to, on a tool that you could use to uh, equipment that you could use to dust out the computer I'll put that in the links and I want to put this back in so you see this there's like two notches right there one and two it goes into right there so that's how that's how you get it back in it goes in only one way like this. So it just goes in nicely just like that. And to pull it out you just pull it out up and then to get it in we just align it to these notches and get it in. Whoops. I hope I didn't break anything, huh? Okay, it's fine. Now it's in. Okay, now I'm gonna get the cover back on. Get the cover back on. You have to, there's a catch right there in the front. You see that one? And catch two. There's two catches that goes in the front like that. That kind of like a door, kind of like a door hinge, and then you just push it in, and it just locks into place. And that's all you have to do to um, uh, remove the hard drive, the optical drive, and the fan if you if the fan wears out. Okay, thanks for watching.